What's up guys, Jordan here, and a little over two weeks ago, Apple released the latest version of OS X, Mountain Lion. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install it on your Mac. First things first though, you need to know if it is even capable of being installed on your Mac. So right here I have a list of all the Macs that can be upgraded to Mountain Lion. Now if you're not sure specifically what Mac you have, you can check it by going to the Apple in the status bar at the top of the screen, then clicking on About This Mac, then clicking More Info. It'll bring up lots of information about your Mac and then it will tell you at the top what model you have and what year it's from. You also need to be running either Snow Leopard or Lion since you can only purchase Mountain Lion from the Mac App Store. Since you can only get it from the Mac App Store, go ahead and open up the App Store. And if you go there anytime soon, it'll probably still be featured at the top. If not, just search Mountain Lion. Then go ahead and buy it and download it. Now, the great thing with Mountain Lion is that you just have to buy it once. Then you can download and install it on all the Macs that are connected to your Apple ID. So as you can see there, it begins downloading. Now, while Mountain Lion is downloading, go ahead and back up your Mac. This step isn't a have to, but it is highly recommended. Now, speaking from personal experience, I have never had any problems or lost any data while upgrading operating systems, and I've upgraded multiple Macs to multiple different operating systems, but it's better to be safe than to lose any data. Now, once it's all done downloading, it'll appear in the dock, and then this window will come up on your desktop. Click continue, and then you'll need to read through and agree to the license agreement. Confirm that you agree. Then it will show where Mountain Lion will be installed and then click install. Then you'll need to confirm by typing in your password, then click OK. It will begin now installing Mountain Lion on your Mac. Now, once it is all done installing, it will automatically restart your Mac. Unless you have other applications open, then you'll need to close those. Now, it will restart your Mac and it will finish installing Mountain Lion. After it's all done, if you haven't already set up iCloud on your Mac, it will bring up this window where you can enter your Apple ID and password and set up iCloud, or you can create a free Apple ID, or you can just skip this step altogether. Now, if you choose to set up iCloud, you'll then need to agree to the terms and conditions, and then uh, I will set up iCloud on your Mac. Then uh, check if you want to turn on Find My Mac. After that's all done, you're all ready to start using iCloud and Mountain Lion. Now, if you have iCloud already set up on your Mac, when you first restart Mountain Lion, it may ask you to enter your password again. It did for me. But after that's all done, you're all ready to start using Mountain Lion. So you can start using notifications, notes, and reminders, and all the cool new features. Now, if you want to check out even more features in Mountain Lion, the less publicized ones, be sure to click on that video on the left, the top eight hidden features in Mountain Lion. Also subscribe up above so you can be notified when I upload 15 new time-saving features in Mountain Lion. That video will be out shortly. So as you can see, it's very simple and easy to upgrade your Mac to Mountain Lion. As always, I hope this video helped you out guys, and I'll see you in the next one real soon. Later.